it's Katie. Today I'm going to talk about returning to work from maternity leave. This was the topic that inspired me to do this vlog because I just returned to work from having my fifth baby and this return was so much better than all of my other ones and I think I've finally figured out um, after five times what makes a successful return from maternity leave. When I think back to when I had my first baby, I returned on a Monday not knowing any better and it was so overwhelming. After I was back at work, I got involved in the nursing mother support group at Cummins and the moms there told me you should always return on a Thursday. Um, that way you get a short week to get reacclimated to work and it's not as overwhelming as returning on a Monday like I did. So I took that advice and I did that my second time and it went a lot better. Um, after that I started co-leading the nursing mothers group and continued to tell moms just like I had been told that you should return to work on a Thursday. However, for my third one, I was talking to a male co-worker who started telling me how he had come back from his paternity leave and was doing half days. So this guy said, yeah, half days, they're the way to go. So I thought, you know what, that sounds great. I'm going to give that a try. The mistake I made with the half days was that instead of working a consistent half day, like every afternoon, I was trying to work some mornings and some afternoons depending on which portion of the day had the most important meeting. My manager was confused, he couldn't remember which part of the day I was working, and, it w and I was trying to do it all even though I was only working half days, and so that was not the way to go. Um, if you're going to do half days, I would definitely recommend that you are consistent with which half of day you do, and I would also recommend that you go with afternoons. Um, one thing I found trying to work mornings when I came back is that there was so much to catch up on, and it was so overwhelming that instead of leaving at lunchtime like I had planned, I would end up staying longer to try to get more caught up on everything I had this time though was the best and I think that the reason the fifth time was the best is that I properly set the expectations for myself and I communicated those to my manager and my team. So I'm now working as a team leader. I manage eight people and so I told them my plan and my manager my plan and what I did is I came back on a Wednesday afternoon and I planned that that first half day would pretty much just be saying hi to everybody. Um, anytime you return to work after maternity leave, everybody's happy to see you, everybody wants to hear about you, everybody wants to hear about the baby, and so you spend a lot of time just catching up with your coworkers, um, catching up on the time that you've missed, and so I thought, you know, I'm just going to have a half day and that's going to be my expectation, is just to catch up with people on that half day. Then on the Thursday and Friday of that first week that I was back, I said, on these days I'm going to catch up on my email and catch up with my team. I'm not going to go to any other meetings um, for the programs we support or any of those things. I'm just going to meet with every one of my team members and understand um, what they've been doing. And then I'm also going to try to get through my email inbox. And it was good to set up that, ex to set those boundaries for my first week back because that actually did allow me to get through my inbox and to catch up with each of my team members. The full week that I was back, I asked all of the team members who I had delegated meetings to while I was out to still attend the meeting with me because I knew that I wouldn't really have the best update since I had been out for a while. So I had them come along with me and then that second full week that I was back, I was able to attend all of those meetings on my own. So that was what made my final return from maternity leave go really well. So the things that I would recommend upon returning from maternity leave are to make your first week a partial week and to properly set expectations with yourself, with your manager, and with your team. Let me know what strategies you've found to be helpful upon returning from maternity leave in the comments below. I look forward to hearing them.